I'm Phil Richards, I'm the Customer CTO for BT Global Services. Uh, my role in GS is to actually work with our customers within a sector perspective, working with them looking at thought leadership, road mapping our products and our technology against what they're actually doing, how we can work with them going forward over a number of years. Um, it's also about retaining business we already have, making sure that they understand what's going on in BT going forward. So BT has had um, it's got a great history, um, but with that history goes a lot of infrastructure, legacy infrastructure that we need to move away from and we need to base on new technology, capabilities going forward to support our customers. Um, and what we've done is we've gone through looking with the advisory services in uh, VMware, working with them to figure out how we can move away from this legacy infrastructure and move on to uh, a new environment. What we've done is we've moved on to uh, what is the uh, VBlock, VCE-based infrastructure, um, and um, we have around about 30,000 plus servers and capability that we need to move into this uh, software-defined data center that we created. Um, one of the good things we've done about uh, creating this internally is that um, from a security policy and a process uh, perspective, we are looking at offering or being able to offer at a later state, our customers to share our internal infrastructure. So what we're doing is we're killing two birds with one stone. We are creating and modifying our own, own internal estate, as well as providing our customers the ability to have software as a service. So they, they don't want to know what infrastructure is sitting on, they just want BT to supply a service to them. Um, one of the things that we are working with our external customers is with the advisory services in VMware and also the professional services is how the, we can return an investment or get a return on their investment with us sooner rather than later. And benchmarking, you can see the curve in a graph that basically shows that their return on investment is a lot quicker to market. There's other things as well. There's about speed to deploy. It's about, you know, this is about GS as well. This is about BT Global Services. It's about our ability. So, you know, it may be modular infrastructure for internally, but all our GS products, we have to speed to market. So our customers want changes in our products, they want new products. So using this ability helps them get a return on investment and speed to market. There was a, a saying that we've used in our briefing that we've done over the last couple of VM worlds, is that it's FUD, it's fear and uncertainty and doubt. So basically, you know, the customers sit there and say, okay, fear, you know, what, how are we going to get from point A to point B? How are we going to be able to have our legacy infrastructure? And in, in the saying that's been used quite a lot recently, keep the lights on. You know, so they've got all this old estate, we need to move, but we also need to keep this old stuff on. There's some stuff that we may be not be able to transform, so we need to keep that on as we're migrating and we're moving through into a new environment. Um, one of the other things is, you know, there's, there's always this conversation about hype. You know, it, it, does it really work? You know, and we, we work with them, we work with the advisory services, we work with our internal guys as well, because we, in, within BT we have a lot of skills within VMware, uh, with VMware. And um, we talk to them, we talk to the advisory services, we bring, them with the, we bring it all together with the customer, and then we try and discover and show them how that doubt around the hype and everything can be taken away from them. But it's, it's, it's where they start as well, it's a starting point, it's a fear for them. It's like, where do we start? Who do we go to? And I think the partnership that BT and VMware have got doing this and working on some of the platforms and some of the projects that I work with shows that this partnership and the, and the um, history behind BT and BT's capability and working with VMware and the advisory services and professional services that, you know, there is somewhere they can go to to start this process we can point them in the right direction, we can help them down that path, or we can just let them go down that path and you know, support them either as you know, infrastructure or networking or, or all the other things that are out there like voice over IP, conferencing. As uh, Energy and Infrastructure Custom CTO, I am working with the Air Logistics Programme, which is an internal platform to BT that we offer to external customers. This platform has four unique parts to it. 
One of them being the CCS platform controls all the logistics that goes in and out of all UK uh, airports. It's a very mission critical platform and at the moment we're talking with the advisory services in VMware about how we can move away from the legacy infrastructure there. This will give us the ability to provide more capability to the customers that sit on it. It will also reduce the, uh, the FTE that we have sitting and managing this infrastructure um, and um, hopefully we'll grow the sort of the revenue and margin that we can put as cutting the uh, bottom line.